All right, Josh, thank you for that. He has been on the Today Show, has his own cookbook, and then he hit the big time joining us here on Alabama Live. Check Mark Leslie is here as he joins us uh, most of the time, unless you're off vacationing and learning new cooking techniques in Italy. Yeah, it's a like tough you gig, were, isn't it? And That's welcome right. back to Just the States. Back. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just got back on Tuesday. And Italy is kind of, uh, you can tell us about this recipe. Italy is kind of where you picked up your cooking style and, and your cookbook. Tell us a bit about that. Well, I lived with an Italian family. I took cooking lessons from the grandmother, language lessons from her daughter, and wrote a book about it. So on my vacation just this last week, I stopped and uh, stayed with them for a little while and learned a new couple recipes yeah, so I thought I'd bring it back and show yeah, you. Share the wealth with us. What you, That's right. Grilled salad. That sounds like a manly salad. Yes. Grilling. Well, I thought it's really good because, you know, guys always think, oh, I'm going to be in charge of the grill mm -hmm. and I'm not going to eat any salad. Well, now you can actually grill your salad and eat it too. Uh -huh. And it's wonderful because you use romaine lettuce. And romaine lettuce is a kind of hearty lettuce that's really crunchy. And uh, let's get started okay. on cooking this. Yeah, We're going to take uh, a head of romaine. This is a heart of romaine. You can find them in the grocery store in bags. Okay. They usually come in a bag of three. And you're going to cut it in half, kind of lengthways through. You're going to leave the core on. That's what's going to help hold this okay. thing together. And from here, you're going to add a little extra virgin olive oil. This gives a great flavor to it. And you're just going to brush it down onto the lettuce. And you'll do both of these. I've got some cooking here, so we'll be able to You don't we'll got a fancy brush. Ahead. Is there something else you can do? <laughs> yes, you can just drizzle it on okay. if you don't have a fancy okay. brush. Or, you know, clean out the paintbrush. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I might do a drizzle. Yeah, exactly. And then you're going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Just okay. a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. And that's just going to kind of bring out the natural flavors. It's going to season it a little bit. So there's some pepper. And then we're going to put it on the grill. Let me pull these off that I have grilled already. You can see it's got some great color yeah. on here. And Looks that's just like a big old piece of meat come out the grill. Yeah, the that's exactly right. And what's yeah. wonderful about it is that you get this kind of smoky, charred flavor. We're going to put those on the grill, or in this case, the grill pan. You can do this in the house if you have a grill pan. Once you get it in the pan, you're going to brush the second side with some olive oil. And then you'll put salt and pepper on it as well. Uh, the grill pans, can you pretty much do anything you could on a grill on those things? Yeah, you can. You really can. The biggest thing you want to worry about, which I hope I don't set off the fire alarms here in the studio. Yeah, but, might, uh, might get us all out of work early. So that's give right. Give it a try. <laughs> it's a great day. So that's what we're going to grill. We're going to a couple minutes each side. You'll turn them, get the grill marks on okay. it, just like you do a steak, and you move from there. Next is a salad dressing. Very simple. Uh, gorgonzola cheese, which is an Italian blue cheese. It's, has, it's kind of spicy a little bit. Um, spicy in the sense of it's got a little bite. Okay. Uh, to it, not spicy as in hot, hot. And then next, you're going to add some yogurt to that. You use yogurt a lot too in a lot of your recipes. Yeah, I healthier? do. Yes, healthier than sour cream. Yeah. Uh, it has still has that kind of tang that you want from sour cream, and uh, I just like it. It's a it's a nice way to add um, uh, to use a tangy flavor without having to add all that extra fat. Right. That's just plain old vanilla yogurt. Just or plain, plain, just plain, plain yogurt. yogurt. You don't want to go with a flavor. You don't okay. want to go with vanilla. That's kind of uh, like putting ice cream on your salad. I don't know if that would work. And yeah. you're just going to mix this around in the bowl and just blend it together with a fork and once that gets blended you'll keep m mushing it I know I use all these technical yeah, terms like here mush. like mush here why don't you mush a little while I mushing. chop some basil and uh, I'm gonna chop some basil and you this will take about three tablespoons the recipes on the website um, so you'll be able to do this at home and this is a great thing to do this weekend since we're gonna have all this wonderful weather finally and we're gonna add some basil to it. Good party food looks like. Great party yep. food, really great party food. So a little we throw bit that of big salt. party at your house. We'll have that. It'll be yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of salt in there. You can see I'm a good stirrer and a musher. You are a great musher. First team all conference. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's wonderful. We're gonna move these so they don't smoke and grill. And then once that's um, all put together, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna swap out here a little okay. bit. I've got some that's already done, and it kind of becomes this little. Uh, little salad dressing. You're just going to drizzle some of that across the top. Now how did it become so liquidy compared to this one? Well, you're going to mash it a little bit, and once it sets, the yogurt kind of helps dissolve the gorgonzola a okay. little bit. So um, if you use it right away, it'll be a little thicker. If you um, actually, you know, wait a while, uh, it becomes thin again. Okay. And then you're going to top this with um, pecans, toasted pecans. When I was in Italy, we did this with walnuts. They don't have pecans, but I love pecans here in the south, and they add a great flavor to this dish. We got some great pecan places right around here. Yeah, too. we do. Yeah. Priester's Pecans yeah. right down the road, and uh, there's some other ones downtown. Why don't you jump in and uh, take a bite of that? I asked you earlier, what is the method of eating? Because I'm thinking if this was strong enough, originally I'd pick it up and eat like a piece of pizza, but it might fall apart. Well, go ahead, give it a try if you okay. want to. I would start at that end and not this end. Okay. All right, your first disaster of 2012 here on WSFA. Yep. Just yep. Give it a whirl. There you go. All right. That's how to eat it. Mm -hmm. Got a napkin right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> 
I think it's pretty good, isn't it? It's very good. Yeah, it's great. The, the gorgonzola um, is this kind of, you know, peppery flavor on top of the wilted lettuce. You get a little smoky flavor with it. Mm -hmm. You get the sweetness of the pecan. It's really an excellent thing to do with steak. You can completely see oh. this with steaks on the grill. You can see it with chicken, grilled fish. It's a, it's a great way to get people back into eating fresh produce. It's really good. Yeah, the, the grilled lettuce itself, you taste that kind of grilled flavor in there, and then the sauce on top is awesome. Exactly, and if you were to do this at, um, on the actual grill, you get a little more smoky flavor yeah. from the grill as well. So it's a really uh, a fantastic way to use lettuce in a different way. I would say don't put on your best clothes. You're going to try to eat like a piece of pizza because you're probably <laughs> going to get a lot on you, but it's fun to try it. Well, I would use a knife and a fork. Okay, where can folks find your book? The book is online. You can also find it. Um, here in Montgomery at Capitol Book and News, you can find it at the gift shop downtown Goat Hill Museum okay. as part of the state capitol. But it's on Kindle, and there's uh, Beyond the Pasta app. So there's all kinds of ways. If you just Google Beyond the Pasta, you will find so it. This is so new. you got to find it on our website because this That's is not right. a book. That's exactly right. right. And you start doing this this weekend. That's good. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. We'll Thanks. Here whenever. You yes. You're welcome. Every day. Thank you. Any day. All days. Starting soon. We'd love soon. to have you come by. <laughs> hey, there's an event coming up that's all about faith and encouragement.